Welcome back friends. If you have not seen the last video biochemical pathway analysis, please check it out for the core concept. So let's continue. If there is growth, it will be designated as plus. If there is lack of growth, it will be designated as minus. So to anal analyze this biosynthesis pathway, what we need to figure out is this. So all these one, two, three, four, all of these are mutants. And here they all are substrates. So if you add nothing in the medium, if you add nothing in the medium, then you'll find there is no growth. If it is a wild type, okay, if there is a wild type and if there is nothing in medium, then there, there will have growth. But since it is a, these all are mutants, there is no growth. Now, how to find out which substrate is the final product? It's simple. If all the mutants we provide that particular substrate, they will grow. Like in this case, you can see it is E. One, two, three, four, five. All of them are growing, which means E is the last in the pathway. Same way, if we see relatively less number of plus, second number of plus would be this A, which grows with 2, 3, 4, and 5, but not mutant 1. So A will be just ahead of E. Right? Are we getting it? So 5 pluses in E, 4 pluses in A. Now let's look where we can get 3 plus. Yeah, this is C, right? There we get 3 pluses, so C would be ahead of A. Now let's see where is 2 plus. 2 plus is with B, and so these 2 pluses. So B is just ahead of C, right? And if we see 1 plus, it is only D, which is having 1 plus, so D would be possibly the first one in the system. So this is our biochemical pathway, which runs from D, B, C, uh, A, and E. Now let's look at it through mutants perspective. So E, if you provide E, it will grow. But like if we, all of them will grow. But if we see one, you provide anything other than E, it will not grow. Which means one is a mutant somewhere here, right? Even if you provide A, it will not grow because this cycle will not go further. If from C also, it will not go further, B, D. So the one is just ahead of A and that's why we get this one. Now, similarly, if we see mutant number three, right? If you provide E, it will grow. If you provide A, it will grow. But if you provide B, C, D, it will not grow, which tells us that three will be here between C and A. So if anything which is ahead of it is provided, it doesn't grow. But if something after the pathway, which means like A or E is provided, it will grow. In same way, we can look at it is mutant number five, which will grow in presence of E, in presence of a in presence of C, but not in presence of B or D, which means what? That just between B and C, this mutant is there. So if you provide C, A or E, it will grow. But if you provide B and D, it will not grow. Same way, if we see mutant number two, if you provide, if you provide A, B, E, 
it will grow c it will grow but d it will not grow which means what this is this belong this mutation belongs to belongs between b and d so if you provide b c a e it will grow but if you provide d it will not because d will not be converted into b and so there will be restriction there is one more mutant left which is mutant number 4 so until and unless you provide all of them it will not grow which tells us that the mutation 4 is even before d so if you provide d b c a and e it will grow so if we see sum this up in mutants perspective then we can we will understand that if more number of plus so if uh, the pathway moves from least number of plus so let's uh, take it so from least number of plus to most number of plus if this is the direction of pathway the mutants would be opposite right so the mutants which are of the later group or later in the biochemical pathway have least number of plus if this is this is for mutants like for example one which has least number of in the pathway in comparison to four which has maximum number of pluses so this is what this is in the beginning of the pathway mutation in the beginning of the pathway i hope you have under now you have understood it better in comparison to last example and now we try to do one more uh, question uh, which will be last in this part and uh, what you do is you pause this video and try to do it yourself and later we will do it together okay so I hope you were able to do it and now let's do it together so if there is plus the mutants will grow if there is minus there will be lack of growth so again uh, if we see in this example this one two three four are mutants and these are substrates now again if we add nothing in the medium if we add nothing in the medium then what we have is no growth which means there is no wild type all of them are mutants right again to find out which one is the last in the product the one with the mute the one substrate in which all the mutants will grow like here niacin so we'll write down niacin if you have read the question this also tells us that this is a niacin biosynthesis pathway which also tells us that niacin would be the last product in the pathway but even if we don't know that it is niacin biosynthesis we can understand that niacin is the last which is the second last product second last substrate would be the one less than niacin but more than others that, that is 3 hydroanthylic acid so 3 hydroanthylic acid is the one which is ahead of this now this one niacin had 4 plus this had 3 plus now there are two substrates which have two pluses one is tryptophan and kynernine so what we understand is tryptophan and kynernine are here we don't know whether tryptophan or kynernine which one uh, has an exact position in this biosynthetic pathway or this may be a branched pathway because we don't have a mutant in between tryptophan and kynonine it is difficult to find out their position and the last one is indole because it has only one plus 
So most likely this pathway will be like this that indole can make 3RP, TRP can make 3 hydrothalic acid or indole can make kynodinine and which can make 3 hydroanthalic acid. Now which mutant belongs to which step? So where we get least number of plus for the mutant. Mutant number 4, yes. So if you add niacin, it will grow, otherwise it will not grow, which means this mutant number 4 is from this pathway between 3 hydroanthralic acid and niacin, right? So even if you provide 3 hydroanthralic acid, it will not convert because the mutation is in between. So 3 hydroxyanthralic acid will not be converted into niacin. Now let's see where we get two pluses like this three one. Mutant number three, it has a niacin and three hydroxyanthralic acid, which means if you provide hydro three hydroxyanthralic acid or niacin, it will grow. But otherwise, you provide tryptophan, indole, and it will not. So mutant number three is this position. Let's see mutant number one. So if you provide either tryptophan or kynodinine, it will grow, right? So this looks like this mutation is somewhere here. So this is one, right? So if you provide tryptophan, it will grow, kynodinine, it will grow, 3 hydroxyanthralic acid, it will grow, niacin, it will grow. But if you see mutant number two, mutant number two, it it will grow if you provide in niacin, tryptophan, kynodinine, hydroxylic acid, even indole. So if you provide indole, it will grow. So the mutation is actually before indole. So this is mutant number two. I hope you have liked this video. Um, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys. See you soon.